I'm Emily. And I'm Hannah. We are best friends and dietitians. We have a goal of challenging nutrition misinformation and fitness trends with an evidence-based approach. Each episode, we will dish up our thoughts about the latest facts on a popular health-related topic. Where are the upbeat dietitians? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Upbeat Dietitians podcast. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the podcast. Today, we are talking about a highly requested topic. We are going to be reviewing Beachbody and all that it entails because it does entail a ton of stuff. We're going to cover a lot more of the nutrition side today. They, of course, have their Beachbody on demand like workouts, and we'll go over that a little bit today. But We're mostly going to go over the different nutrition programs, what they are, how they work, and then all the different red flags. And again, spoiler alert, there's a lot of red flags. So let's start by talking about first though, like what beach body is in general. Yeah. So beach body has so many different types of programs. It's kind of a little empire giving Herbalife vibes. It's kind of a different form. And to kind of gauge a lot of where we're getting these red flags from, definitely check out episode 59, where we talk about how to identify red flags in a diet. Um, we'll link it in the episode description, but the word itself, the name of the program itself, beach body kind of implies that you aren't ready for the beach unless you have a specific body type. It's kind of get you beach ready and whatnot. And that's just not true. All b- bodies are beach bodies. You don't need a specific body type to go to the beach. You can go to the beach any time of the year, probably not in the winter if you're in a cold area, but anytime we always kind of think summer bod, we think of getting ready for your beach body. Um, everyone's always like stressing out at the gym and shredding and cutting and whatever they do. Um, <laughs> well, all you need for a beach body or bikini body is oftentimes we see a little bit more in social media is to put on a swimsuit and to get a towel and get lots of snacks and water for Don't hydration, hydration. and yes. sunscreen and sun and sunscreen. Yes. Yeah. And that's all you need for a successful beach day. Yeah. You don't need a specific body type. Yeah. Okay. That's our first red flag. The name is a red flag <laughs> right there. <laughs> Starting off strong. Yeah. <laughs> um, the next one is the website is heavily, heavily focused on before and after photos. Like they're everywhere on every program they offer. They have before and after photos and we'll get to this, but like even the gut health one, there's a before and after photo with like their body and how much weight they lost. Like it's not even the point of the program. Um, yeah. but as we discussed in the red flags of a diet episode, a before and after picture does not determine how well the program is because just because someone lost weight, that does not automatically mean that their health improved photos don't show the whole story they simply show what someone's body looks like and even if they lost weight they could be struggling with a lot of other things that make their health maybe not so great and not to mention that photos can be altered too so how do we even know if the after photo is actually what the person even looks like exactly that we are not before and after photo fans here and especially that's just implying that weight loss equals you being successful and that's not always the case yeah. and like can we get a before, an after photo like five years later when they probably would regain the weight back from this three-day detox they did as well again get to yeah they probably gained it all right back yeah yeah And kind of going along that frame of what Hannah was talking about with like the five-year check-in, a lot of the emphasis is on quick weight loss. So the one of the examples we saw in there, like a testimonial was like, lose nine pounds in 14 days. And that rate is just not going to always be one fat loss. It's way too fast. Um, So it probably is more like water weight, potentially could also be muscle mass if it's that fast. Um, And quick weight loss is not sustainable at all. So it's not another red flag. It's just, it's promoting that like quick changes, which people always want. Cause we're, we are a little bit impatient as individuals. Um, and that's fine. But from a weight standpoint, we kind of don't want to be throwing our body through these like huge changes all at once. So not only is it not sustainable, but also it's not always healthy to lose weight. 
quickly. And you guys know we don't like the word healthy because yeah. what does healthy mean? What does but- that even mean? It's <laughs> been hijacked. This- yes, exactly that. But from like a sustainability standpoint, maybe even like a lab value standpoint, mental health standpoint, if we want to go that level of health, not going to be great for that. But yeah, that's kind of beach body as a whole. So now we can go into all their different programs. And so this excited. first one, I think is the one I hear about the most behind the exercise program. So Shakeology is the first one. I hear about this all the time with like supplement, like shakes, meal replacement shakes. Essentially, it's a line of supplements under the Beach Body Empire. And I haven't really looked into if they're third party tested or okay. I spent hours looking at all these <laughs> programs. So I have so much to say. Mm-hmm. Um, so they've got Shakeology, which is like mostly just protein shakes, mm-hmm. which they even have a whole blog on if they are to be classified as a protein shake or as a, or as a meal replacement. Um, because the shake itself, they promote it as like a lot of different things. It has some protein, about 17 grams, but they also promote how much fiber it has and it's got omega threes and you know, all these like superfoods and stuff that they say. So they, they recommend not using it as a mere replacement, which is great. They actually say that they say it's not really enough to be a mere replacement, but what they say instead is that you should use it before you eat a meal to help suppress your appetite. So you don't eat as much during your meal. Yeah. So it's just like eating a snack before. Exactly. Exactly. And like, it's, 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 it's so expensive. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's $130 for 30 servings. That's like insane. You can get the same nutrition by from the grocery store with that much money. How much more variety? That's like just shakes. That's only, that's not even including the price of your meals that you would eat after. That's my week of groceries for two people. And like, that's one shake a day for 30 days for one person person oh my god okay so they also have a lot of other claims um you know they say the results are backed by science and they have all these statistics like reduced desire to eat by 58 percent more than a calorie match shake reduced hunger um it helps participants eat fewer calories but like you'll get all those benefits just by like eating anything <laughs> like <laughs> the best appetite suppressant is gonna be just food in general yeah. It doesn't need to be this expensive shake. <laughs> no, it's like, if you're going to eat anything with that much protein in it and also fiber, yeah, your appetite's going to be suppressed. Yeah. And yes, you're going to eat less of your meal. Like, duh. <laughs> right. Like it's, it's not, it doesn't seem like a terrible supplement. I mean, we'll get to this with the next section too, but like it is a supplement. And so with that, we have a risk inherently, but it's got protein. It's got fiber. Like, yeah, like I've are... heard it tastes terrible, but oh, well, that's not fun. But also it's like, it's maybe half the meal then, where it's like you, that's what I can't get over. This isn't even for like a whole, like if you live with another individual, maybe you have a, like kids, you need yeah. to buy food for other people. It's like the 130 is just for one person for a month. Right. right. Um, and also it kind of seems like it like demonizes appetite a little bit. Like, so like you'll be you less feel hungry. hungry. Yeah. Like appetites, let's honor those hunger cues. Like your body's hungry for a reason. You don't need to suppress your appetite. That's consistent yeah. throughout a lot of their programs. They like act like yeah. hunger is the worst thing you can ever experience. Yeah. Which what I is- get it. Like when you're so used to dieting, hunger is a scary thing. So you don't know mm-hmm. how to honor it. Mm-hmm. But when you finally become an intuitive eater, it's a great, you get to honor it and you get to eat again in like three more hours. So it's like, it's exciting yeah, to feel hungry. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got a few other red flags that we haven't really talked about yet. Um, we said how expensive it is. It's so pricey. Like Emily said, it promotes all that appetite suppression and like, that doesn't really need to be a thing because their appetite's a good thing. And like really eating anything will suppress, our, suppress your appetite. And there is also a heavy emphasis on weight loss. That's also consistent throughout all of these programs, of course, because how are you going to get a beach body without losing weight? Mm -hmm. Um, But as you guys know, if you're regular listeners, you will get weight loss from a calorie deficit, whether you include these shakes in there or not. Yeah. So like 
if this takes you over your sacred calorie deficit, then no, you won't lose weight. But if it helps you get to your calorie deficit, then yeah, you will lose weight. It just depends. Do you know if there's a wean off program for sustainability? Um, I, not that I found, not that I found, although I, I will say, I wonder if some of the programs, like when you become a member, they have like different stages. They probably do. And we just don't have access to that since we are not a member. Cause I tried like a lot of them. I tried to look more into it and you had to like log in, of course. Nar. (laughs) Nar, nar, nar. (laughs) So they have another supplement line called beach potty, beach potty. (laughs) Basically. Beach potty. You're basically on that the one's potty. Good for the That's a one. spoiler for all of these. Ah, beach potty. Um, like- beach body performance. And- it. Yeah. <laughs> we should hire us as our marketing team. <laughs> <laughs> We're the realistic marketing team. Yeah. Um, but this beach body performance line is geared towards those doing like really any workouts, but of course they want you to do their workouts. And so they have things like protein powders, pre-workout, they have appetite suppressants, whatever. Um, and I will say with this one, Emily, you mentioned third-party certification. I did mm-hmm. see it on these, on the protein powders. Oh, and the let's go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was, you know, it's a bare minimum, but bare minimum. There it's we go. So, so expensive and advertising is okay. terribly like enriched in diet culture, but at least they're third-party tested. <laughs> <laughs> They've got that one pro. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, those exist. Um, their prices are pretty astronomical too. Like their pre-workout is about 55 bucks for a month supply and the whey protein 70 bucks for 20 servings. That's Holy crazy. God. This is expensive. I have like a, my own personal, not rule, but kind of like guideline I follow for protein supplements. I try to limit paying more than like two bucks a serving. That's kind of my own like little budget. I've never heard you say that. I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Again, if you can afford more, go for it. If you like different ones, yeah. but that's kind of my own like general rule of thumb. Cause you can get ripped off very easily in the supplement world. Oh yeah. There's so many and a lot aren't regulated, but these are so ex- we know, know the ingredients and qual- quantities are going to be accurate. So we'll take that. We do. But as these are supplements, we still have that inherent risk of taking a supplement. And mm-hmm. as we talked about in the supplement episode, episode four, use food first. supplements are just there to help you. If you're not able to get enough protein, for example, through diet, you could choose theirs if you wanted to. So supplements. Yay. That's really all in supplements. A few of them like intertwine, like some of them Mm -hmm. will encourage Mm -hmm. you to use Shakeology while doing like the portion fix or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let's go through the beach body demand, shall we? Yes, that is, I feel like one of the most well-known ones. It's their live and on-demand exercise classes. And they have a bunch of different plans that kind of offer a variety of nutrition programs and supplements along with them to kind of promote that full package. But we'll go into all the nutrition node flags a lot more in depth when we go into the other programs um, encouraged or advertised. But one of the biggest things to note from the exercise standpoint is the idea that doing these exercises will automatically make you healthy or only doing these are going to make you healthy. And what if the beach body and demand exercises are something you just hate and they're not fun and uncomfortable and you don't really thrive in a live or on-demand exercise class. Maybe you like to work out by yourself. Maybe you like to go in different studios. It's kind of just pushing that, like, these are the exercises you need to do to be healthy. And as you guys know, within the intuitive eating realm, we always recommend incorporating joyful movement, movement that makes us happy because not only is that going to be a lot more sustainable, but we also shouldn't have to punish ourselves with exercise to be quote unquote healthy. So if you don't like the workouts, don't do them. That is the one time, I don't even know if this isn't even nutrition related. We say nutrition isn't black and white. This is a black and white case where yeah. if you don't like it, don't do it. And yeah. find some movement you do enjoy. And as simple yeah. as that, you don't have to pay lots of money to do movement that is promoted as healthy. And if you don't like it, you're going to probably feel 
bad that you aren't being quote unquote healthy. That's what I was going to say. You'll feel guilty for not doing it because you feel like you should be doing it. And then the whole cycle repeats itself. Yeah. Yeah. A vicious cycle. So. Okay. Maybe you do like it. Maybe you do. And if you do, that's great. I I can't speak too much to the workouts themselves because I haven't done them. Um, So I'm not paying for that. I think when it comes to exercise, it of course all needs to be very individualized and these aren't, you're just, you know, hopping on a live or recorded class, which can be Mm -hmm. great if you're someone who just like needs that motivation and accountability and guidance. Mm -hmm. But of course, if you have like really specific fitness goals, it'd be best to get some one-on-one advice if you can, if you have the means to do so. I completely agree. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's break down these nutrition programs because this is where it gets really juicy. I'm so excited. This next one, like, I'm so excited. Okay. I was like, what is, I have lots of thoughts. Well, let's go. So I'm ready. Thoughts. Okay. So portion fix, I think is the one that we often think of in terms of nutrition for beach body. It's the one that has all those different colorful containers that you eat out of. Mm-hmm. So each color is like a food group. You have to like eat out of the container or that portion size. And of course the whole goal is to like lose weight. So like when you join this program, which I believe you can join it separately or in conjunction with the beach body on demand, like a lot of these, you can kind of add onto your your plan or whatever. Um, but with your payment, you get the containers, you get a daily log book. You're encouraged to log all your food choices. They have an app as well, where you can track. I hate this name. Um, the creator of this, which we'll get to her problems in a second. (laughs) She has a cookbook called fixate and she also has cooking videos and it's like the fixate, like that's the the brand name of like her whole thing. Like that's terrible. Like we don't want, you don't don't fixate on food. Like there's more important things in life. Anywhere near nutrition. Terrible, terrible. So yeah, you get all of that. And then And I found out today they have a new intermittent fasting program to go along with this. So because Beachbody is all about like what's hot right now, let's slap, let's slap a Beachbody trainer on the cover of it and sell it. Cause you know, they've all got abs. They have this new intermittent fasting thing and they like have specific, like, uh, like I'm sure like PDFs or eBooks to go along with how to do intermittent fasting alongside of your color coded portion cups. Yeah. Beachbody is like such a weird, I don't understand what's going on. Cause like Hannah said, a common theme is like, if it's a like new fad, they have a program for it. So weird. But like their entire main purpose is like to get you beach body ready. So it's just kind of like hitting up all these different fads in their own way that will promote their own prop prop programs, not problems. They are promoting their problems, uh, yeah. uh, but not directly, <laughs> but, but like, it's just so odd how, like if your goal is weight loss and like, you want to be a weight loss diet, like, just keep it simple. Just yeah. I'm like, crazy how would exercise. you even know, like, should I do the intermittent one? Should I do the gut health one? Should I do the supplement one? Well, what I'm sure what happens is someone does portion fix, it doesn't work. So and then they go to the, yep. the, the cleanse and they go to the detox then they do yep. the supplements. Yeah. I don't even want to know how much the average person who is a consumer of each body spends. So there's so many things you can like add on. Like, oh yeah. It's so expensive. Things. And I'm just like, for what? But I can't get over going back to portion fix like overall how they just have like Tupperwares for you to eat out of one. Like, are you going to carry those? Are you going to bring those to the restaurant? Are you going to bring those to work? Like, do you only get one set? Do you need to wash them every single night? Do you need to wash them between meals? Like, Oh my God. I didn't think about that. (laughs) Yeah. Like you look, you will, is this mean? Is this mean? I'm going to say it. (laughs) And you guys can let me know if I'm being mean, but like, you're going to look like a child with your color coded they look like Tupperware, something you and would make like, a child eat out of. Yeah. It's teaching you not to trust your body. It's, That's my biggest point with this. Yes. It's like, like, here's what you need to eat. And like how individualized is, are the portion sizes to like different people? Okay. Like, is there like one for right. men, one for women? Is there one for like a certain range of weight if, or like a, a weight loss goal rate? 
Like, and these are all great <laughs> questions that we think of as dietitians, but someone who just like sees us and buys it, they don't know to ask these things. Mm-hmm. They just see she markets it as like so easy and quick and it's no calorie counting. You'll lose weight so fast. And so yeah. boom, like you're sold. Yeah. You don't think critically about it because why would you? No, That's not why how your brain. Why works. wouldn't you trust them? Yeah. Why wouldn't you trust this person? He's got abs. Yeah. She's and yeah. they're like, seem to like, want to help you feel better in your body for the beach. <laughs> I can't get over that. I'm like, for the fixated. beach. It's <laughs> like, a terrible name. I'm fixated on that. I'm like, this is all revolving around weight loss and getting beach ready. But like, it's such good marketing. Yes. I got to give them that. Yeah. But it just, uh, okay. There's a lot of other red flags. A lot of other red flags. Let's 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 talk about about Autumn. Let's talk about the creator, the woman behind it all. Not actually, I don't know if she's the main one. She has a few different programs. So there's like a whole bunch of like lead trainers. Yeah. She's the face of this one. There is a dietitian, which we'll get to, I think in the next one, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Stay tuned. It's so juicy. (laughs) But this is Autumn. Autumn is the creator of this one, as well as the gut health one. Um, she is a personal trainer. She holds various like fitness certifications. She does have in terms of nutrition, a certification in holistic health through the Institute of integrative nutrition, but like that's a bogus certification It is not equivalent to five to six years of continuing education like a dietitian has code of ethics code of ethics oh my god like what are those <laughs> a practicum like no she is mainly a personal trainer also a nutritionist and this is so outside of her scope yeah. so outside of her scope it's even worse than the next one with her scope the gut health one like that one's so bad oh, yeah. out of her scope that's like debatable so bad. like towing the line of some like potential MNT if there's like oh she literally says in the gut health one spoiler to like cut out foods and it's like a generic plan like it's not like I'm meeting with Emily one-on-one I realize she has a lactose intolerance so I say to, to cut out dairy it's like join this program of marketing as losing weight get rid of bloating cut out all these foods and that will do it as a personal trainer <laughs> Ma'am, stay in your lane. We're not trying to give out an individual. Well, I'm not. I, Hannah's a personal trainer, so I'm she can trying. Do that. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah can do that because she also shares your same credentials. Me, minus the holistic one. I'm gonna just <laughs> add that. I'm you're, far you're, from. No, you're not a holistic health coach. An integrative nutritionist. <laughs> no, um, but like dietitians like me are not trying to make individualized fitness plans. So why can you like? not to stay in your scope. There's so much with exercise. Like, yeah, stay in your lane, stay in your lane. Like if you're that bored with the fitness part, like do better with that. (laughs) Don't encroach on like our stuff. Yeah. Like there's so much you could do, like Emily said in fitness. So like figure it out, do better (laughs) at fitness. Do better. (laughs) (sighs) But first and foremost, kind of, Jumping back to the beginning, red flags when I think at some point they say, yep, they say, yep, they say portion fix is not a diet. I was looking for it's it. I was a like, lifestyle. Where's the quote? No, if you are recording the weight and time and measuring foods, it is a diet and it is recommending like portion control and there are rules about how much you should eat. It is a diet. That is a diet. That is not a lifestyle. <sighs> This is why Autumn, everyone's like so confused. Pe- yes. Yes. <sighs> it's like, what is actually a balanced lifestyle? Because everyone markets their diet as a balanced lifestyle. Yeah. And it's, you know what? Someone needs to, we need to regulate that term. I don't know how to, I don't even know what the definition would that be. That and healthy. How yep. do we, Who we know do the we academy won't, not the academy. They won't help us. Maybe the FDA. I don't know if they would. USDA. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Let's just go to I don't even the, know the dietitian one. Oh, you're still on that. Okay. I thought you were trying to get to the next point. No, no, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking of different levels of government at this point. Just let's President have Biden, Mr. Joe, we got to talk. Like, sir, I know you're busy like, trying you to clear our lungs. You probably don't care about 
dietitians, but if there's one thing you can do for this country is regulate the term <laughs> lifestyle and health. Joe Biden does not even know what an RD is. <laughs> I wonder if they have dietitians in the White House. Oh. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. How do you get that job? I mean, they definitely have chefs. Yeah. Do they have an RD managing the menu? Making sure that Joe is getting a balanced approach. <laughs> we have to keep this man safe. We have to keep him alive. <laughs> He's at a very particular age where nutrition is very important. <laughs> we cannot let him become malnourished. <laughs> now imagine like us in our like clinicals and like you go to do like a malnutrition assessment and it's just Joe. It's just Joe like <laughs> Sir, have you, how much of your food would you say percentage-wise you've been eating recently? (laughs) Have you been experiencing any type of unintentional weight loss? Can I do a physical exam? Let me just palpate between your, your, your thumb and your first finger. (laughs) Let me please touch your temples. Um. (laughs) Oh, I do not miss doing those. They were kind of fun. Of course you liked them. (laughs) Well, like. To be fair, we always did exams on each other. So no one was ever really malnourished. So yeah. it was kind of nice to like get a comparison. Yeah. That's true. That's true. When you actually had a malnourished patient. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing something. It works. Yeah. I don't even know how we got on this track. Oh, we're talking either. about regulation. of terms Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Joe's. If it says healthier lifestyle, it's probably been hijacked by that. That's culture. a red flag right there. I'm like, let's think critically. Um, but yeah. Okay, I would love to talk about the next one because this is where it gets even juicier. This is wild. It's just sopping wet with juice. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) It's it's moist. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Just forget I said anything. Okay. This next one is the 2B Mindset Program. And this one is led by Alana. I can't say her last name. Alana Molstein. She's a dietitian. She's pretty big on social media too. Really? Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. Um, who was it? Someone stitched her recently. I think it was maybe Kara. Really? I feel like she had done it. Yeah. Because she's the type of dietitian who goes in the grocery store and she pulls the whole thing of like, instead of these crackers that have seed oils, get this one. That's $2 more and has no seed oils. She's doing that kind of stuff. Ah. And she also works for beach body apparently. So they have the two B mindset. Apparently it means nothing to be a dietitian. We have a code of ethics, but like we can just do whatever. There's no rules. <laughs> she when markets- we say not all dietitians are equal. We're referring to Alana and one <laughs> other person that we can't say because she'll sue us. I'm like, yes. She's Maybe very one scary. day when we're more successful than her and we're not afraid of her. Yeah. We'll go after her. Yeah. Just, just wait guys. If you want to know, yeah. you better hang out for a while. <laughs> you better stay for a little bit. <laughs> and like, Give us some listens so we can become successful enough to feel strong enough to go up against this individual. Her. <laughs> so Alana markets all of this by using her own journey, which a red flag, just because she lost weight does not mean that it's we a good program. Testimonials. Yep. Including a picture from when she was 13. Are you and she was yes. This was Alana, age 13, and here's her now 100 pounds lighter. Yeah, terrible. Terrible. Oh my gosh. And she like I did markets... not realize it was Yeah. She like lost 100 she a pounds. Child. She always uses that as a selling point. And like I said, her social media is very diety and she's like constantly talking about how she lost weight and she can help you do the same thing. She was a child. Like she I don't she love She is attacking her 13-year-old self. Yes. And like oh my... putting it on a very popular like what platform. It... There are children on social media. There are a lot of young children on social media. Oh my, I did not know it was that bad. I knew she was a dietitian and like the whole like testimonial thing, but I did not know she was comparing it to her 13 year old self. Yeah. I like, don't want to talk smack about other dietitians. I try to like stay in my own lane, mind my own business. Like we're not all going to agree on everything, but like, come on, come on. Nope. not good there's there's a fine line and if you cross that line too many times yeah 
you will not be protected. Maybe someday the Academy will finally do something. <laughs> this is a call to action. <sighs> so if you're listening, please. Please help us. Please We're drowning. Those of us who have for like, dietitians and like those of us who like, yeah, I was gonna say those of us who actually like follow the code of ethics are drowning. The good guys are not winning. No, you're not. <laughs> Alana is making bank while oh yeah I don't want to discuss our finances on here but I will say we're not doing as well as Alana is oh no no so <laughs> this whole program is all about your mindset so they sell you know mindful eating and things like that all foods fit and how that can help you lose weight and like that's all great and all. We obviously love mindful eating and all foods fit, but oh, we, yeah. it's a diet when you bring weight loss into it. Yeah. And you start like recommending like eat more of these and portion sizes and stuff like that. Like, yeah. Oh, and I just, I hate when people weaponize mindful eating and all foods fit so much. Cause like yes. they know it's popular. That's just, that's the theme of Beachbody. They know what's popular and they know They're what's going good. on and they figure out their marketing team is very good at what they do. They're so good. Very, very good. Um, and then they just kind of make it fit their, because at the end of the day, that's what Beach Body is, is a weight loss program. And all they're yeah. doing is figuring out how to fit all these different rising either fads or like trends, like where like all foods fit and mindful eating has very, very, like there are good intentions behind that. Yes. And it's not to teach you to shrink your body. Yes, but they're weaponizing it to do so. And like, what's so confusing about Beachbody too, is like, they have this where Alana is like mindful eating and your mindset around food matters so much. And then they have like our next one. That's like literally a cleansing detox. So like, which one is it? Are we like starving ourselves or are we being mindful and allowing all foods? Like, which one is it? I would like a quote from Autumn and Alana, please. Autumn and Alana. I gotta say they're doing it right though, in terms of finances, like marketing. ethics, ethics, no, but yes, <laughs> other realms they're doing. Okay. <sighs> Even if we wanted to be non-ethical, I don't think we could. I couldn't do unethical, it. Unethical, unethical, not on, not non. I literally like have tried at times to like be unethical, not about like nutrition, literally about yeah. like reading and senses, like in the sense of like problematic authors, this is like not related but kind of related and I can't do it I've tried to be unethical and I'm like they said some like borderline racist things in the past like me but I heard this book is good and I literally can't do it I'm like what is it like yeah to not like care about ethical things right and like I used to like do weight loss in my private practice like I used to like Mm -hmm. sell things for weight loss purposes and like, I just realized it wasn't, it's not it. No, it's not it. Like I saw how miserable people were when like they weren't losing weight and they like hated everything, even though yeah. they were eating more vegetables and they were exercising more, but like the number on the scale didn't say they were doing success, doing things successfully. So they felt terrible. And I was like encouraging that. Yeah. Ugh, I At just least can't, can't. you had critical, critical thoughts. We love critical thought. We incorporate critical thought and you are aware of the flaws in the past. And like, we're both aware of our flaws from undergrad when we were like super gonna go cure obesity, cure even obesity. though that's literally not a thing because BMI was created off of not representative data. Right. But you know, we're learning individuals and humans and we make mistakes and that's why it's important when faced with other things that challenge our thoughts we think about it and we yeah can ch- it's okay to change your opinion I feel like that's not even nutritional late like it's okay to be wrong yeah and like to be okay with that yeah and like you guys listening maybe you have done this to be mindset it didn't go well you now have a terrible relationship with food because of it or whatever else you've done in the past but like now you've learned from it you have more critical thought you know how to understand what the red flags of a diet are so you get to like improve from that so like you get to you get to fail it's okay yeah so alana if you're listening you can change (laughs) 
this isn't you. <laughs> you could do better than this. This you're this confused. Next- <laughs> the next two I'm psyched about. I'm loving this episode today. I'm having a great time, by the way. I am too. This is like so juicy. We haven't had a juicy one like this in a while. No, this is. We've been so very much, like so fruit, much really like. Yeah. yeah, we like kind of calmed it down. And no, now we're back. <laughs> like intuitive eating and love your body, which we still, of course, stand by. But yeah. we haven't had a good like. Let's this is like talk a gossip crap session. about. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys are involved in our gossip session. Yeah. Hopefully you're also enjoying these deets. So let's talk about the next one because Hannah already like gave a little spoiler Hinted. that it's like a starvation type situation, a starvation situation. But they say it's not starvation cleanse. They quote, no starvation cleanse helps to restore your body to its optimal factory setting. So this next one's called Beach Body Ultimate Reset. So just face of that what do we think it's about you're what right are we resetting exactly like what what do we need to reset um anyway quote from the program it will help you feel invigorated lose weight it's a common theme and get back on track to better health in 21 days in just three weeks the beach body ultimate reset will help gently cleanse your system This gentle, no starvation cleanse helps restore your body to its optimal quote unquote factory settings so you can feel and look healthier than before. Cause that's what I want to be compared to. I want to be compared to the default factory setting. Yes, I am a machine. (laughs) There's three phases. Each one is like a certain time period. So you start with phase one which is reclaim. And in this phase, you reclaim your body, accessing your inner chemistry, preparing it for change. The biggest thing on this one is you remove red meat and dairy just because, well, they say, because It'll those are known stress to place on stress. Your digestive. In, yeah. They play stress in your digestive system, which no, they don't, unless you have an actual intolerance. I'm it's kind of like, the say, I'm like is everyone lactose intolerance now? Right. <laughs> so everyone cuts it out for no reason besides apparently it causes stress. And then phase two is release. You begin to release unwanted compounds that have been holding your system back and you start the detox process. So now (laughs) it makes no sense. You cut out (laughs) meat and dairy and now you go fully vegan. (laughs) What? It gets better. It gets better. Okay. So phase one, you cut up red meat and dairy. Okay. Fine. Easy enough. Whatever. Phase two. Now you're fully vegan all of a sudden. So like you just got used to the meat and dairy thing. Now it's like do a whole new like, like grocery. No routine. animal, yeah. no animal products at all. It's now you're fully up. vegan. And then phase three is restore, where you restore your digestive system along with other internal processes. And in this one, you're mostly eating fruits and vegetables. That's their only like rule with that one. So like you go from like vegetarian kinda to like vegan to like just fruits and vegetables. Your poor body. One like beach potty am i right <laughs> your body would have a panic attack going through this it's just so polarizing and like it makes no sense what is from red meat and dairy to <laughs> vegan <laughs> and then like the next one's so like much. fruits and veggies fruits and veggies like like they're just grasping at straws they're just desperate to create something for you to buy and let's not forget with these three phases, you're also taking a whole slew of supplements. Oh my gosh. Yeah. These I'm so excited for. Okay. So there's six, I have the best time. There are six <laughs> supplements for this ultimate reset. The first one's a greens powder, which whatever, we won't go too much into that one. It's mostly just us saying you don't need that. Yeah. Um, the next one is it's called <laughs> optimize and it says on the website, it's a proprietary enzyme blend and added camu camu to help support nutrient absorption and bioavailability. It's probably and just a digestive enzyme. Exactly. And like the red flag like, is the word proprietary, which that means that we have no clue what's actually in it. Yeah. Vagueness. Vague. <laughs> okay. Number three is soothe. So this one has like aloe vera and turmeric also supposed to help the digestive system and improve oxidative stress. <laughs> my note that I wrote, I thought it was hilarious. 
the only thing that's going to need soothed is your butthole after shitting your brains out for 21 days. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, mineralize. This, this one's all about so pink Himalayan and salt, which adds natural minerals to the body. It's, it's salt. It's salt, which we as Americans get plenty of salt. You don't need for the most part. There's some who need more than others, like oh, yeah. pots or things like that. But we're doing okay, <laughs> sodium wise. Yeah. And then insane. these last two really go out strong. The classic detox one, which is classic, formulated with key ingredients, including chia seeds, flax seeds, and <laughs> turmeric, traditionally used to help support the body's natural detoxification processes and healthy liver function. Like, please explain to me how chia and flax support healthy liver function. Like you cannot, like, yeah, fiber, whatever. But like, do they know that? <laughs> do they? <laughs> if you know, go ahead, go ahead. If your liver and kidney and lungs are fine, you don't need any docs. Yeah. And even then, like your liver, you don't even need all of it. Like your liver is like very impressive. It's, it's doing good. And if it's not you should be hospitalized yes. or at least like given a more specific diet than just do this speech body reset yeah uh, and then the last one is revitalized the pre and probiotic supplement but i maybe need to look more into it but from what i gathered it looked like on the uh fax label that it only had one strain of bacteria and like mm. my understanding is most good high quality probiotic supplements have multiple strains like five six yeah. seven strains of bacteria Typically, yeah. But it said, of course, like it's a blend, a proprietary blend, which means we have no clue what's actually in it. A mystery. Yeah. So with this one, you basically like have these supplements that you do during those three phases. And we basically already covered the red flags, the, but yeah, I don't even know one of the prices of those. I don't remember. I don't remember. I didn't do the price of all these. I realize I am realizing now. That's okay. I'm sure it's expensive. I'm sure it's expensive. All right. This next program kind of goes along the very similar lines of the ones we just talked about. It's just a much shorter version of it. It's a three-day refresh. And the quote is, I love this, feel cleaner, lighter, and healthier without giving up food. <laughs> you know what helps me feel cleaner? Showering. Showering. <laughs> That's the best way I feel cleaner. <laughs> Like anyway, what do you mean without giving up food? Yeah. They like give you the meals to make and like the shakes. Yeah. And what like blows my mind, or just like already jumping into it, is it <laughs> talks about like a quick start for like healthy eating lifestyle, healthy eating lifestyle. Um, and it says helps you shed a few pounds in three days. And it shows on the website before and after pictures, of course, I like Thomas that. lost eight pounds in these three days. Yeah, they were all like eight, nine, 10 pounds. Oh my gosh. Thomas is going to gain all that right back. He only lost he's that. He's going to gain he... it back the next three days after. Yes. He's going to have to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> or he's going to have to do like the long program or something else. Tommy has been a paying member for a long time because he keeps doing these refreshes <laughs> and is yeah. not actually learning about his internal hunger and fullness cues. Yeah. And that's like, a. I think we've talked about this on either the red flag diet episode or the episode with Kayla, where we talk about the issues with dieting, but that's how they make their money is they don't make sustainable programs. They make these programs that you need to take all of their supplements and all of their shakes and do exactly what they say for like weight, initial weight loss. And then what happens when like you plateau or you gain it back, you start a different program and you're just going to be a continuous cycling member and consumer yeah yeah which with us we kind of hope from like hannah and i's perspective we kind of hope you work with us and then like you don't ever have to work with us again right you're set for right you're set for life and you're good you either listen to the podcast and like learn from us that way you join our mm -hmm. course which uh, link in description to get on the wait list for that coming fall slash winter of this year mm -hmm. and like you do that you learn and then you're like on your happy way for the rest of your life with full food freedom. Yeah. And you have connections to us via like social media or the podcast, but 
we don't that's that's just not sustainable and also this isn't really teaching you anything that's like a common there's a lot of common themes here it's like they're just kind of telling you what to eat the three-day refresh one specifically specifically is like shakes here some easy prepared clean meals clean clean eating you know they're really on top of their fads yep (laughs) no mold (laughs) or anything um healthy snacks help you break the cycle of bad eating habits lose a few pounds and support healthy digestion improve the way you feel everything about that is a red flag it's so bad (laughs) there's just like so much guilt and shame in that one yeah and it's not teaching you anything. It's just telling you what to do for those three days. Um, and what happens if like, you don't lose a few pounds? People are going to feel bad about themselves. Right. And so like this, you're like, like I shortest, all that money. I bet this is probably like, honestly, one of their more popular programs because it's short. Because they're like, let's yep. see how I feel. And then like three days, they're like, oh my gosh, nothing happened. Or maybe we lost weight because we went, we took out like a ton of foods or like probably like, I don't even know what the portion sizes would be. They're probably going to be so small. And then you rebound and you it is it back. Exactly. It's all short term. Like one of the before and after pictures was this chick. Sydney lost eight pounds in three days right before she went on her cruise and she got rid of all of her bloat. Like it's those kind of people who are wanting this, like right before your wedding okay. or before you go on a cruise or before a beach trip. They are advertising this for that kind of person. Yeah. And the example we give with this of why it's not going to work is like, if you held your breath for a long period of time, what happens when you finally naturally due to your body protecting you, like have to breathe again, you probably like gasp for air. It's the same thing with this. Like you go on a three day restricted diet, you're going to end up feeling so deprived. They'll end up overeating, gain all the weight back, feel really guilty and then do it again. And the cycle just repeats itself forever and ever. Yeah. Until you break it. Yeah. Which you can. You just yeah. have to. Step one is admitting there's a problem. Yeah. The first step to solving any problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've got one last nutrition program to cover. This is just so on brand for especially where the nutrition world is at right now. Gut health. So they have a four week gut protocol, which Another issue with all these, right, getting to the red flags right away, is they all like put a time limit on it. Like, yes. Yeah. We covered that in the red flag episode, like having a time frame of like how it's gonna work. It's just not how humans are functioning. No. Not everyone's gonna work at the same time. Not everyone's a machine or prime yeah. factory that like this is like this is how long it'll take you. No. And like Autumn, the creator of this one, who as we know is probably problematic she says in the description for these that all you have to do is commit four weeks to me and I'm going to change your life but like autumn I'm a busy working mom working two jobs and I have no money I can't I can't do that right now with you but autumn says that you can so you can do it it's very much along those like I hate when like not even just like in like this type of situation when anyone's like if you just like invest in your health and I'm like let's like let's let's not get a little bit pretentious about it like just because people don't have the money or like the time or they can't commit this time they're like it's only this long like you don't know what have people have going on in their lives people can't just like commit this much time into food they probably have other stressors going on whether it's like work related everyone's just about work that is what I've gathered <laughs> from sure, working yeah. for like a little bit over a year now everyone is stressed about work um probably from family life stuff in there maybe like personal relationships maybe mental health mental health is so bad so so bad it's terrible um but all it is is like dedicating four work four weeks to this person that's it no it's not that simple and it's like it's, I just hate the like whole investments in health. Yes. Cause like, it's normally just them saying, if you spend a lot of money on this, it's going to be good for your, like that, exactly. that is what it is translating to. Exactly. Like I get the part of it. We're like, yeah, you should like try to take care of yourself and do what's oh, yeah. best. But 
using that as a selling tactic is pretty slimy. Yes. But anyway, this four week gut protocol, again, it's led by autumn and what it does is she gives you a cookie cutter list of foods to cut out that according to autumn, who is a holistic nutritionist are ones that typically cause gastric distress and undermine your health and well-being. They undermine it. Just get in there and do you dirty. They're out so, to get you. They're out to get you. That that dairy, I tell you, it does get Emily. But for most of <laughs> us, drink your damn milk. <laughs> Ugh, we got too much osteoporosis going on. Just drink your milk. I know. Yeah. So this is the one where I was so mad about Autumn. Like this is so <laughs> outside of her scope. Oh yeah. Like it's not even. It's irrational. Like how far? It's she's wild. Reaching. And like the calorie brackets. And... This is like me trying to like be someone's accountant. Like <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And it's just so, it's so intense for no reason. Yes. And like, it's not, it's obviously not individualized. It's not supposed to be by nature. It's a no. sign up online program thing, but like, that's not how gut health works. You can't just like cut out the same foods as Shelly next door and get the same results. Yeah. And like, you're cutting out, I'm guessing dairy is one of them. Don't use it as an example. I've had glutens in there. Gluten, dairy, Gluten's red meat. Kind of yeah. Basically foods Probably that we sugar. all eat all the time. Yeah. Probably like the foods that are like really getting demonized right now. And a lot of those are things that are easily accessible they're just like part of our regular diets so bad I bet the stress of this program and trying to figure out what to eat is worse than the foods itself yeah I put my like I was gonna say my licensure on that I don't even know if anyone's gonna come after my licensure probably not I don't even know how you would do that actually let's not get any ideas (laughs) (laughs) If you're listening and you're trying to attack Emily or I <laughs> don't <laughs> don't cross us. But like it's just so out of her scope. It's so bad. This one is so bad. Like and she is the creator of the portion fix, like we know. And so she encourages you to use the color coded containers and like Emily was saying, calorie brackets to make sure you're getting the right nutrients. So you're not too deprived cutting out the foods that you were probably eating lots of before for four weeks. And then what are you going to do? Just like, keep doing that afterwards. No, you're going to reintroduce them like you were before. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, I bet there's not even a reintroduction, like led process, like individuals process. Like there is a way to do reintroduction. Yeah. Uh, Those who have gut health issues usually do some sort of like, um, what's it called? Like where you like take a food out. Mm -hmm. And then you reintroduce it, Mm -hmm. but that is what dietitians are for. Yes. That is what we work with. We actually like learn how to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, so annoying. And like I mentioned earlier too, it's last point on this one. It shows before and after pictures. They all have before and after pictures, but like, this is about gut health. Yeah. So what's you can't that? see like the individualized, like you don't know what bacteria microvilli your- going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show me and does endoscopy go that far? How far does that go into? Does that go into your intestines yeah. or does it only go to your stomach? I don't know. Well, it doesn't the colonoscopy that only does the large intestine though, right? Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna see all them. Show us those microbiology results. Yeah then I'll believe you do this for protocol. And then autumn's going to do your colonoscopy because she loves to go outside <laughs> of her scope of practice. She's qualified. She's a holistic nutritionist. She gets to like, take a camera up your butt. She has the confidence. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the budget's low. We had to like People are doing multiple jobs, even though I bet their vice is <laughs> not low. They make lots of them. Um, they have like <laughs> billions of users, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Anyway, that's Beachbody. <laughs> or Beach Potty, Beach as Potty. we have rebranded. <laughs> rebranded. <laughs> um, but let's talk about what to do instead of Beachbody, because we've just talked probably for like an hour or so about 
why we're not a fan of it, but they're probably like, Emily and Hannah, you're just hating on Beachbody. What should we do instead? I am so glad you asked. Number one. (laughs) Emily's thrilled. (laughs) Number one is finding joyful movement. We talked about this way back when with the, I don't even know, they're all blending. Is it Beachbody on demand? Is that the exercise one? Yeah. There we go. I'm learning. Yeah. Each body in demand, they have those specific exercise programs. Number one, we'd recommend doing is like finding movement or exercise you actually enjoy, physical activity. This could even be like walking or gardening or yoga. Know, like a new yoga, a new, there's so many different group classes and different types. Join a running club go to like a new local gym. There's so many different types of gym. Find something you actually enjoy that incorporates both aerobic and weight training slash resistance training. We kind of want to incorporate both of those, but that's not something to say we think aerobic and weights. We think like lifting dumbbells and going on a run. No, it doesn't have to be that. Aerobic could be walking. Aerobic could be swimming. Swimming. Resistance training could be body weight workouts. It could be like Pilates. Yeah. Stuff like that. It's just kind of finding something you enjoy. Next thing we'll know is eating a balanced diet that is not restrictive. This is very vague, I will note. But a balanced diet can look different to a lot of different people. And that's and incorporating like different colors of foods, making sure we're eating protein at every meal when possible, have eating carbs. So we're, our body's getting that readily available. Energy, yes, eat carbs, please. What? <laughs> And also we're going to go a lot more in depth. It's about like balanced plate building in our course. So definitely go check out our course information. It's coming out this fall, 2022. We'll link it in the bio. Um, And we'll probably, I think we're also going to do a blood sugar stability episode. So you can check that out as well once that comes out. Next thing we'll know is what to do instead of beach body is supplements are as needed you don't need supplements. They are exactly that. They are to supplement your diet. They are not there as a replacement for something. You don't need to rely on them. They're there kind of to help out. They're an assist. They get those assist points, you know, in, yeah. in the basketball game. I was watching a lot of basketball <laughs> last night. So I was looking at stats. They would get lots of assists. That's what they're yes. getting. They are not scoring points. Mm. They are the point. I guard. like that analogy. I'm going to steal that. That's good. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I probably insulted some point cards when I said that they do more assists than score, but you know, they are, they're running the, they're running the court. So they got to run the place. Supplements are not running. I was just going to say, wait, we're taking this make, we're taking (laughs) too far, too far. We're taking this back. (laughs) They are just assisting. Um, they're holding of a different analogy, the person on JV who like, they get to play on the game where like everyone, like you're winning by so much. You're doing yeah. so good. The gate, like you're just like destroying the other team. So they let the person in JV come and just like help a little bit if they need a little bit of help. Yeah. Get some good practice in there. But that didn't make sense either. Cause like, if you're doing <laughs> really good, you wouldn't need a supplement. <laughs> eh, whatever. They're assisting. You know, you know what we're talking about. Yeah. They are not the game changers of the field. And maybe that's, yeah. Yeah. The maybe field, the court, the court, the track. Yeah, I was like, what else are there? <laughs> The, the green, if you're golfing. The greens. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. And then um, the last thing. So, do okay. it. Do it. <laughs> the last thing is we are, if you're new here, maybe you don't know this, but embracing intuitive eating. Intuitive eating is amazing for your mental health, your physical health. It, it actually helps you incorporate all foods fit, not like beach bodies. And so it actually promotes that it promotes weight neutrality. Um, we talk about like joyful movement. It's just such a, you're going to be happier. Intuitive eating is to help you from all aspects of health, not just physical health, but also it's kind of looking at nutrition from a different lens that diet culture has brainwash to think of. So the best way to kind of do so is one, listening to our course to learn more about intuitive eating or or listening to our, (laughs) listening to the podcast or joining 
the course and kind yeah. of learning a little about it more in depth. Once again, check out the bio, episode yeah. bio. And you're already an expert at listening to the podcast because you made it this far into this episode. So <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Now all you got to do is join the course. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So. Final thoughts before we get into our bonus question of the day, which should be a tough one. So hopefully I it won't it be will. like one of those ones where it's half the episode is the bonus question. <laughs> I hope it's not half this episode. <laughs> no, it shouldn't be. And you guys really already know our final thoughts. Like as we talked about a million times, the name beach body in itself is very problematic. It's all about weight loss and weight loss sells. So they've had a ton of paying customers. So of course they're going to keep doing this. Like it's not going anywhere. Like with this podcast, we're not going to put beach body out of business, but no. we hope to just like raise awareness to people like you who are like wondering, should I do this three day reset? Will it help me? Hopefully we'll get you to make a choice that will make you feel better about yourself versus worse. Exactly. Exactly that. Yeah. I don't have anything else to add. Okay. Bonus question. I chose this one because shakeology shakes. Oh, theme. okay. Yeah. 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 So bonus question. Do you dip French fries in milkshakes? Like, like a Wendy's frosty French fry situation kind of thing. Yes. Emily. Yeah. Do you? Okay. I love salty and sweet. Me too. It's so good. It's Ooh, so good. this is not really salty, but as we're recording this tomorrow is when pumpkin cream cold brews come out. Yes. I I'm waking up early to go get some. I'm, I'm so, so excited. excited. I'm- I made one this morning and it's good. I'm my own and they're really good. I post about it all the time on Instagram. So come follow, but <laughs> it, it, you just can't beat it. It's so good. No, they have, they haven't figured it out. It's they're so doing it right. It's going to so be good. crazy tomorrow. I know. I know because so we're not alone in this love. It's like, no, <laughs> it's the a collective. cult at this point. <laughs> we- the PCC beat. Yeah. Oh, Crew. I so- don't know why I said the last part. Okay. <laughs> um, My thoughts on this. Yes, I do. But <laughs> oh my God. I have more to say than just yes. I don't know if I'd love it like with like a big old fat steak fry. That's like a lot of starchiness, you know? Like putting oh, that, yeah, the I think it's best with like a thin like say, Wendy's, yeah. uh, steak and shake, that kind yes. of thing. Not like a curly fry, Ooh, not a no. steak fry, not maybe a waffle fry. Maybe a waffle. It's, it's similar texture. Yeah. But like it definitely would have to be thin. If it's too starchy that like overpowers the shake. What There's are you doing? Slider. Oh no. You are that. reacting way calmer than I would have if I saw a spider it's right now. It's on my finger. <gasps> I have the web. What? I would be having are a full-blown panic attack. Like, no! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Let me put this guy in the bathroom. No, oh. kill it. Make him die. Oh my God. He's connected to something. Oh All my right. God. We got him. He's on my hand. Okay, hold on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry for that brief interruption. That was terrifying. I would have been having a full blown freak out. No, I've spiders. gotten okay with killing spiders with my hands. Oh, oh. <laughs> spiders do me dirty. They make me so nervous. They're so small. I know. They can't hurt you. I know. I know poisonous. it's irrational. It's irrational because I live in Indiana where there aren't scary spiders. Mm-mm. I made Ross promise when we got married that he'd kill all of them for me. <laughs> it's paid off so far. Good. <laughs> Good. But yeah, I'm glad we agree on that. And that was, that was easy. I figured. Yeah, we'd have I agree. I didn't even one. think about like the type of French fry, but that's true. Like there's some, I wouldn't dip. I feel like the like <sighs> French fry and Wendy's frosty combo is just like iconic. Like you it's can't perfect. not do that. I know people don't agree though. I think it's very oh, yeah. polarizing. I don't know why, but it's so good. They actually have an ice cream flavor. That's, um, like French fry ice cream. It's like that idea. I forget. I got it at like a fresh market. It was like a bougie grocery store. It was really good. Actually. It was like that concept, like like an ice cream. Did it have like chunks of French fries? I think so. I think they were very, very thin and crispy. So it wasn't like soggy ancient French fry. fry. (laughs) It was pretty good. Oh my gosh. It did it well. Was it Jenny's? It might have been a Jenny's flavor. Maybe, Maybe. not. I don't remember. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. This episode has gone on for hours. So we'll let you we wrap go. it up. 
check out all of the episodes we're about to link in the episode description of other topics. Check out the course um, and check out, I don't know. I don't know. You say about to link, like it's not already linked in the description when they're hearing this. (laughs) You always forget they're not live. (laughs) Like they're here with us. We're going to link it. Just hold on. It'll be there in a second. (laughs) No, they're they're already there. (laughs) Yeah, check it all out. They're there. Um, we hope you learned something new about Beachbody. There's, they're their own little crazy empire out there, and they're still going. They're not going um, anywhere. But yeah, yeah, that's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed this more juicy version of the Epi Dietitians yeah. podcast. We haven't done a review in a while, so this is no. fun. If you've got other ones, let us know. Oh, I yeah, heard a new one the other day, the Galveston Diet. Have you heard of that one? What is that? It's for menopausal women, really targeting the vulnerable. Of course. Yeah. I've got it on our podcast idea list to cover. Perfect. All right. Well, that's yeah. Right. Yeah. If you needed something <laughs> to get upset about, there you go. Right. <laughs> All right, everyone. It was wonderful chatting with you today. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're here live with us. <laughs> We are so grateful for all of your support and we cannot be more excited to share another episode with you next week. Yes. 71. Oh, I know. It's crazy. That's We're a almost lot 200. Of That's a lot of episodes. I Maybe know. we'll do something fun for a hundred. Oh, we totally should. I don't know what. We'll have to brainstorm. If you have ideas, let us know. Maybe it would be like things we wish we knew before entering the profession. Ooh. I feel like that would be a juicy one. I have yeah. lots to say. <laughs> Yeah. Or we could do like a hundred of something, like a hundred <gasps> things that, would that we so wish we fun. knew. A hundred. <laughs> They're gonna be we could breeze through them. We could breeze through them. We'll right. go fast. We wouldn't even explain them. We'll just say them. <laughs> That'll be the whole episode, just listing things. <laughs> and that'll Riveting be it. content. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll think of something. Or if you guys have ideas, let us know. Yeah. It'll be fun. Cool. Have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll talk to you guys next week. (laughs) Okay, bye guys. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in on this episode of the Upbeat Dietitians with your host, Emily Krause and Hannah Thompson. We appreciate you all so much for continuing to support us. In order to support us and sustain the success of this podcast, please subscribe and leave a rating and review. If you'd like to provide us feedback for future episodes and guest stars, follow us on Instagram at The Upbeat Dietitians. Lastly, you can show us support by providing a monthly donation using the link at the end of our bio. Once again, thank you so much for listening today and stay tuned next Wednesday for a new episode. Until then, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your week.